Hi and welcome. Thanks for joining us as we take this opportunity to take a look at everything Google Suite on your iPad. So let's get started with today's lesson. So let's take a look at Google Slides on the iPad. Again, what we're doing in these videos is just trying to give an overview of what they look like running on the iPad. And in this case, again, we're gonna have a look at how they compare through the Safari web browser version to the app version. So again, we're gonna start with Safari and take a look at what that looks like. Also have a look at how we can get started um, and different ways to access them. So if we go ahead and jump into Safari, I'm currently in my Google Drive, and as we've seen before, if I tap on the waffle, I can select that option to go to a new slides. So if I go ahead and jump into this, we'll see that we have our slides available on our device. Um, again, you know, we've said this in previous videos, if you're used to using Google Slides on a web browser uh, through your desktop um, or your laptop, you'll be familiar with the view where we can start a new presentation, we have access to our template gallery, we can have access to all of our previously created documents, and as we slide down, we have the option, obviously, to create them a new tapping on that plus icon. Um, so really, really simple way to get started. Um, other ways to access this, if I start a new page, so I want to add in a new one, if I type in slides.google, Com. It gives me that option to create new slides. Now I'm already signed in, so it's just going to take me to a new page. Um, and then the last option, obviously, like we said, is if I tap on the share icon from this point and go to add to home screen, it's going to create that quick link for me. Tap add, and we'll see now we're starting to build up our kind of Google Suite quick links through Safari. So although we're using Safari, we can still kind of access these from the home screen as a quick link without having to go through Safari itself and type it in every time. I just simply tap on this and it's going to take me to a new Google Docs, uh, uh, sorry, new Google Slides setup point. Okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like. Obviously, like we said, we can uh, go into all of the templates. I'm just going to go to a blank. And here we see, again, those options are all there. Again, that pop-up box asking me to download the app because um, I can do different things. Again, I'm not interested at this point, but we will have a look at that a little bit later. <clears throat> and we have that familiar setup, you know, so here is my uh, familiar sort of setup for my slides to be able to insert and add and format things. And all of those themes are here down the side so I can quickly, you know, change anything um, at the, the click of a button to, to add in different themes, etc. Um, we still have the, the opportunity to, to use the explore section so I can have a look at different layouts. I can, you know, all those things that you're used to. Again, this is not a video on how to use slides. It's just showing the comparison between slides on the iPad and how it works perfectly well um, on the iPad, the same as it does on your desktop and laptop. So there we go. So there's all our options. And obviously, because this is a presentation tool, we still obviously have the ability to present. So I'm still in the Safari browser um, and I can still present. I still have all those options uh, to be able to do the Q&A. Um, you know, everything is there as you would expect to see it. OK, so let's take a look at what this looks like then compared to the app version so that you can have that kind of informed decision as to which way you want to go with creating your documents. So let's jump out of the Safari view and go into the app. So I've just downloaded this now. So again, it's going to just ask me to sign in. So I'll just quickly sign in here. And it's going to take me into Google Slides. Again, we're going to be familiar with this kind of setup. If you've looked at this um, on the other videos, um, I still can see all of my previously created work here. If I tap on the plus, I have those option of those templates or the option to start a new presentation. Let's jump into that split screen mode so we can do that comparison between the two. So here is that presentation in Safari. Here's that same presentation within the app. So see that we have, again, that slimmed down version of being able to create our slides. We can still add in additional slides here. Uh, we can still you know, share those uh, documents with other people to collaborate. We can add in all of those elements just is a simplified version um, of the main page that you're looking at um, over on in the Safari viewer. So there we go, it's it's 
really just a, a choice of which way do you prefer to work. Now, obviously from a student point of view, we've mentioned this before, having a slimmed down version can sometimes make things easier for students to be able to start creating and not get bogged down with options. You know, here we know that they want to add something, so they tap on the add that has the option to then add in all of those elements they want to do. From a teacher point of view, you might want the additional space of Safari to be able to do your formatting, to be able to change your slides, your arrangements, all of those additional things. So again, choice is something that we really do promote, having uh, options to be able to do things in a way that works for you. And just to know that if you do want to do this within the uh, browser, you would need to delete the app, otherwise it's going to try and open in the app every single time. So there we go. Again, like I said, not an overview of how to use Google Slides, just an overview of what Google Slides looks like um, on the Safari browser and also within the app.